Today on the Lug Nut, I'm going to show you how to give your JL body style Wrangler a little bit of attitude. I'm going to change this grill to black. Now, you can see I'm holding a tool in my hand, and that is a wrap tool. So you would think we're going to wrap this grill. Absolutely not. I am a certified installer, and I'm going to tell you right now, you can go to Mopar and order a matte black replacement grill for these JLs for about the same amount of money it's gonna cost you to take it in. Actually, it'll be less to take it into a, to a good shop and have, uh, and have this wrapped matte black. So I'm gonna show you in hopefully under 10 minutes how, uh, how a guy can swap this grill out. All right, let's get after it. All right, so the grill that we're gonna use is right from Mopar Parts Catalog. Uh, it, uh, nothing fits like OEM. Last year we were at SEMA and my wife was Going through the Mopar boot, she saw a black grill on the uh, on the stand, and she's, "Well, you, I want a black grill on my Jeep, and uh, will you wrap it?" I said, "No, I won't wrap it. But I'll, we'll buy that grill." Uh, and uh, so, ordered it up. First thing I did with it is took it to my local uh, paint protection shop, and they used a matte finish paint protection and uh, covered the front of the grill so that any rocks. We live in northern Alberta, very prone to rock chips. And uh, super easy for them to do off the vehicle, and uh, pretty pretty inexpensive to protect your uh, new. I was gonna say shiny, but your new matte black grill. So with that, it comes with new clips. These clips are for the rubber uh, little seal deflector deals here. Uh, really, the only tool you're gonna need is a uh, standard plastic trim removal tool and you pop those out. You can use these new clips, put it in the new grill. It's pretty simple, straightforward. So let's get after it. We'll start pulling these, uh, these first clips. What you do is you just get underneath, pull the center up, and you can see there's a, uh, a center piece of what I did. Of course, they're down like that. Pop it up. Pull that out. Now, if you get a little carried away and you pull that center out, don't worry, don't panic. It's it's all good. You can uh, pop that outside of the outside retainer portion out, and uh, just simply put them back together. So, take those, set them aside. Two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove these clips here right now. So lift the rubber up, squeeze that underneath. And there it is. So pretty pretty simple. And don't worry, like I said, the kit comes with four new ones, so if you break one. No big stress, just be careful you don't rip this. That over there. So we've already got two of the main retainers out. I believe there's six in total. Another one. These retainers don't get rammy with them or they will they will break and you'll have to buy a new one. But uh, they're the old days, they used to just have ones that were had little feathers, a Christmas tree type looking thing, and you pull them out, and they're one use only. These are these are a lot nicer as long as you, as long as you remember to pull the center lock pin. All right, so that's that. Pretty simple. Now, if you're a little worried about how to pull that off, um, you pick up the new grill, you'll see it's got little uh, spring retainers all across the bottom, and uh, that's about it. Nice thing with this grill is it comes with the, uh, the uh, new mesh and everything, you don't have to pull that off, and you can put this back in the box, should you want to sell it, or should you get tired of the black, or get damaged, you can save your grill. Funny, 
those things, once they go, they just let go. So that's it. Pretty simple. I'm gonna do a little switcheroo. So line up those retainers at the bottom. All right, so you can see we've got the slots where those are all gonna line up and pop right in. And all we gotta do is lift, lift this up, give it a good shove, and it'll be good to go. As long as they're good and alive, don't hesitate, just give it a good shove. All right, we'll start in the middle. Of course, we got these pins out, like I said. Slide that in. Push her down. So you notice I gave it a little shove there. These holes are oval, and uh, I like having things nice and centered, so I put those two clips in so that it would hold it and gave it a little bit of jostling over, and I got those holes nice and centered. Yeah, these are those one use style Christmas tree retainers. <clears throat> okay, and you can see that gets damaged, and you can reuse them, but you can see they're all turned the other direction, and there's a void there. So it could be reused, but what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a piece that isn't super snug. And uh, eh, why not? If they give them to you, might as well use them. There it goes up. Wow, that was tight. All right, last two. So to squeeze that back closed, it would just open too wide. Now this one, this is the one I pulled the center out. Just didn't want to go back in all the way. There we go. Now, all right, and that's it. Well, that's all there is to it. You know, if uh, you like you saw, smash that like and subscribe. Heck, even if you didn't like it, so do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll have a lot more videos. Next thing that is happening to this is going along with the increased attitude is we're gonna increase the altitude a little bit. So what we did is we actually found, this is a Sahara, so it found a uh, set of takeoff full suspension from a Rubicon. So that'll give us about, they say about an inch and a half. Some guys say two inches, some guys say an inch. So we're going to measure it, we're going to video it, and we're going to give an answer on exactly what kind of lift it is. But at the end of the day, it cost me 250 bucks. So that's pretty good value, I'd say. So, all right, till next time, have a great day.